Hey guys, so we have a new elliptical wall tools uh, when we're drawing walls and stuff. So um, to show you that, I'll just come up here to the wall button and we'll get these two options for ellipse and uh, partial ellipse. So if you click on that, you can draw ellipse. It's pretty simple. We have our height level like we would see in any other, um, our location line, and then join status, so allow and disallow and to uh, draw it we would just click pick our first point and then we would then uh, in, a, in um, the horizontal or at least from our perspective here the uh, horizontal um, uh, axis and then axis we would then click and then in the vertical we would then uh, pick another point and then from there we can place more if needed. Uh, we also have the partial ellipse. Again, this one kind of works the same way. We would pick our first point, our second point, and then for the vertical, we would then pick our third point, and then it would start um, from our second point location, and then we can draw another one if we need to. And uh, that's it. Um, we can take a look at that in Revit 19 here if we do, um, I'm going to expand that all the way. If we do uh, a wall real quick, we can see that, that partial ellipse isn't in here or that full ellipse. So those weren't options before, they are now. So that's kind of cool, kind of nice. Um, I don't necessarily uh, use them, the bulk of every building that I've ever worked on. It's mostly square um you know just uh kind of straight edges and stuff so um nothing like this but that tool's there so hopefully you know somebody that didn't know it um now does and, and can use it uh through their projects um and that's it thanks a lot for watching guys